1967, it looks like they ran a chimney fire um, at 1826 Monument Ave. Dan Del Rocco. Yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Is knee deep in spring cleaning. <laughs> I, I can look at these things all day long. The Richmond firefighters chore. Uh, 1964. Comes laden with a heavy dose of the past. Uh, false call, false call. A lot, of, a lot of false alarms back then too. As the unofficial historian of Station 12. Engine 3, I mean, that's, that's not a, we don't have an Engine 3 anymore. That was decommissioned. Lieutenant Del Rocco is sifting through decades of handwritten history. Still do a lot of the day-to-day -day activities that they did 40 years ago. The building at 2223 West Cary Street holds the distinction as being the city's oldest active fire station. 1908. And one of the earliest on the East Coast. It gives you some perspective into how old this fire station was. Assistant Chief J.R. Hall says the fire station dates to a time when crews responded to calls relying on a different sort of horsepower. So just knowing that this station was built around horses pulling uh, hose wagons uh, is unfathomable. The equipment has changed, but the facilities really haven't. If you look hard, you know, there's still a lot of stuff here that were here from day one when they first opened this station. One attraction sets 12 apart from the other stations across the department. When you think about the fire service, there's a couple things you think of. You think about, you know, Dalmatians, Obviously, red fire trucks and fire poles. Yes, this station comes equipped with an authentic brass fire pole. Well, when that when that when the tones drop and it's time to go, um, being able to slide the pole is number one is faster, so it gets us out the door quicker. After 114 years of constant use, the neighborhood firehouse. How are you? Good. Is showing its age. Oh, this is the old school fire station right here. Yes. Firefighters like Tip Stevenson wear the cramped quarters, peeling paint and low-tech accommodations like a badge of honor. It has seen better days, but the firefighters here, they love being here. You can ask any one of them that they wouldn't trade it for the world. But the sirens at the beloved station where generations of heroes plied their trade are going silent for good. It's kind of a bummer. I feel very fortunate that I have they got to spend some time here actually assigned to this station before they knock it down. The two-story brick building will be demolished and replaced with a state-of-the-art facility on the same spot. And this station has so much tradition behind it. For firefighter Trey Compton, the end hurts. I will miss the the historic value behind this particular station. You know, it's, it's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna miss it. I will miss it. Like we always say, this is our house. Until the lights go out forever, firefighter John McCarty will savor each shift. The station itself, I mean, it's, it's old, so she's got some, some character. I call it character. She's got a lot of character around, as you see. These are some of the documents that, you know, we'll have forever. It is a landmark dripping with history. Uh, Jones called to congratulate Dotson and Harris for doing a good job at an accident. For Lieutenant Dan Del Rocco and his fellow crew members, it's time to turn the page. It's, it's a good way to bring you back, though. At the Richmond Fire Department's Station 12, last call is bittersweet. Absolutely. It's, it's my first firehouse in the city of Richmond, so I'll never forget it. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.